Hey everyone, this is Buzzrot, and we're back with another Siege Up video. Now this is actually a game between uh, myself and one of the subscribers to the channel. Uh, his name is Ardium uh, in the game, but also in YouTube he's uh, Dijong Jin. So I hope I'm saying that right, but um, just for a bit of backstory, this is some of the comments that he left. So Dijong is one of the uh, followers of the channel and he really wanted to try the game, especially the multiplayer. Um, and because he was on iOS, he wasn't actually able to test out the beta version because they were only coming out on Android. So he, he definitely wanted to try the new maps in the beta version, you know, try out the troops as well. And once the iOS version came out uh, for beta, he was pretty keen on wanting to play, you know, multiplayer. So this is the first time we've got a chance to play each other and so here we go into the game and of course I'm playing in first person view because um, I don't actually have anyone to spectate or record the game so really this is going to be my side of the battle and uh, we're just going to commentate through the game I'm just going through and doing the usual stuff at the beginning, getting a market and gathering resources. So I did notice that there was like a new berry bush you could gather food from, which is great. And this map has a few neutral units that are guarding the uh, resources. So the coal mines and gold mines have um, these hostile units that you need to kill off before you can really capture the mine properly. Also, if you just noticed that I have the mouse cursor on the screen, which means that I was playing this game on PC. And if you haven't heard already, the game is actually out on itch.io, so you can download and play on your PC as well. Um, I made a video about this previously, so I'm just going to put that on the screen here. If you really want to play it on PC, which I recommend doing because I think it is much easier to play on PC with a mouse and keyboard than on mobile, I would recommend you do that and you too can play this game on PC. Now back to the game, I'm getting some archers here and I'm trying to just get rid of these infantry that are guarding that metal mine. Um, I get some of the shipyard out as well with a fishing ship to get some food. Um, so I'm almost about to capture this mine here. Some of my peasants here are getting hit. <laughs> I'm not sure where they're going, uh, but they should be probably chopping down some wood. Now there is another two coal mines, rather, well actually two gold mines down at the bottom there, but they have a lot more units guarding them, so I need a bigger army to attack. Um, interestingly on this map there's a wall that you can construct there, and you can see that it costs five wood. Uh, that's definitely something I should have done uh, during this game to help uh, prevent my opponent Artyom from just walking through but yeah I just didn't really do that and for some reason I, I remember getting a ship on this game but I'm not sure what happened the ship didn't actually spawn I, I think I bought two um, but yeah they just never appeared onto the um, the sea over there so I'm not sure what was happening with that but yeah let's get some more units and after a while I do engage with blue over here the small skirmish um, he does have a few more troops there so I think I would have been wiped out if I kept going so I decide to pull back towards my barracks there and continue to build up more units um, still need to clear out this gold mine to get the um, income there I was trying to build a tower but um, just couldn't when there was still units around. So I think with this force I should be able to wipe them out. Um, actually I'm taking out quite a few losses here, a few of my archers are already dead. But here comes my swordsman to come and try and clean things up. So after I clear them out I put down a tower to help protect that position and I'm pulling back now. So there is another metal mine closer to my base in the north position there. Um, looks like I'm just regrouping my army to go and take them out. 
So it is a smaller force like before, two infantrymen, so it didn't, doesn't really need a big army to attack. But yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna make my way up there now. So I haven't really scouted blue at the moment, so I don't, I don't know what Artyom's up to exactly. Um, but he probably is capturing some of the uh, mines as well. And so I'm trying to take out these guys um, here. But I do notice on the minimap right now that he's attacking my tower and he's probably pretty much gonna be able to capture my two gold mines there. My units were totally out of position. Um, so my tower falls and he captures my mine. So I am quickly trying to get all my troops back down here to take it back and attack his army. So some of them are still lagging behind and we're just going to do an engagement here. Um, he does have a heavy swordsman there which is actually pretty good. I don't have any of them myself. Uh, and my heavy swordsman is actually way behind here. He's only just getting into the battle right now. Um, a lot of my infantry are actually going down. But he's only got archers left and he does decide to fall back. And I should be recapturing these gold mines here again. Um, so I, at this moment I'm just trying to <laughs> put down another tower to defend and gonna see what's happening over at uh, Blue's base here. So he did clear out his own metal mine which I captured briefly. Managed to just take down one of his peasants there um, but there is a wall which is very smart because uh, I can't simply walk in there. I need to use a siege unit to take it down and right there on the chat Artyom is like Oi mate what are you doing being a cheeky boy? So he does see me outside of his base and uh, I just reply lol just a bit of banter right there and I'm just going to continue to build up my army um, I don't actually have that much units I only have 30 supplies so really my macro here isn't the greatest I haven't been building many units uh, which I should have been doing you can tell that's what's been happening because I have like 400 wood right now floating quite a bit of resources but here I start to build a siege unit to take down the towers or well, I'm not not the tower exactly the wall and at the top there the uh, the gold mines at the top haven't been captured yet so I'm thinking hmm, maybe I should get some more units up there and capture the mines to get more resources so I have built two ships um, but <laughs> They just haven't spawned, I, I don't know why, and yeah, I'm just kind of like wasting those resources with a ship that doesn't come out. So I do have my first siege unit out now, and I'm going to try and attack the wall. But <laughs> Meanwhile, Blue has a very big army at the top there, and I quickly scramble to build a tower before he just walks in, because I don't have a wall. And he captures my um, metal mine right outside my base, and I think... I really need to fall back and pull all my units down from the south side into the north so that's why I really needed the wall. You prevent the um, opponent's units from walking in and he's actually destroying a lot of my um, peasants there and all my units are pretty much dead. The only thing that was holding him from uh, walking in was that one tower. I thought though he could have been able to take it down but maybe not since uh, I did have my units here now so he might have taken more losses than uh, he would have if he just fallen back so I'm going to retake my uh, this metal mine here and I'm gonna see what happens uh, so he did also take down the uh, neutral units at the top and capture the gold mines so he also has a tower there to protect it um, so at this point there's nothing down at the bottom here and um, Blue is coming out of his base reclaiming the metal mine there but he does decide to walk back in because there is a tower right side of outside of his wall. Uh, meanwhile I think I'm going to try and take down this tower. There's nothing real defending there, no units. So that should be able to fall and I'm continuing here to build some more siege units here. 
help quickly take down the um, the walls there. So I am able to capture the gold mines at the top, and blue is um, taking down some of my oh, taking down my tower there. So I really need to fall back down to the tower where I have the gold mines there. So this is not looking good for me. He's gonna take down my siege unit there, my battering ram is uh, <laughs> desperately trying to attack the infantry there but it looks like my tower is going to fall as well as um, my siege unit so same thing here I can't actually attack the wall with my infantry I have to use my siege units there so I'm just gonna put down a tower build a siege unit um, a siege factory there and blue is just taking down some of my units here at the bottom um, Kind of like, I think I'm probably not too, <laughs> a bit flustered here, um, but I'm just trying to spend some of my resources, get some more units out. So I think I'm going to pull back here all my units from the north side down to the south and try and deal with this army here. Um, Blue's army does seem to be, uh, some of it has been picked off, so it wasn't as big as it started. So I have some of my cavalry come down here now to try and um, finish off this army. So he decides to pull back now, um, seeing that some of my reinforcements have come. And so there's a bit more of a... Uh, more of a <laughs> quiet part of the game now, just waiting to build up again. So I do have my siege unit coming back down to regroup. Um, all of my army is down here now. Nothing's really at the top position anymore. And so I'm just building up. I have an extra workshop there to build some more siege units. Meanwhile, Blue does have a strike force there at the top with some cavalry. And he's just going out and quickly taking out my siege units. And he's attacking my workshop right there. So unfortunately, I don't have anything there to really guard the siege units but I do have quite a lot of siege units at the bottom and I'll be able to take out um, the tower very soon and here we go we're just going to quickly take down this tower with all those uh, I think I was like five catapults and meanwhile my um, workshop at the top there is being taken down with the wall here, you have to be patient, you can't just walk your units in, so you really need these um, siege units to do their thing, take down the wall. Blue does decide to come out with his army, um, but it's a very small one. Uh, I think he probably has his army split from the top as well. So he's uh, <laughs> realizing now there's a big army out his front door. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the wall to come down. Um, so yeah, definitely need to build a new house as well. Um, actually, my house at the top was destroyed, so I need to build a new one and um, also build some more units as well since I'm, again, floating quite a lot of resources. But the wall has fallen and there's going to be a big attack here. Um, cavalry charge out the front for blue and his units come flooding out as well. A lot of infantry which is really going to be good against my archers there. I um, also have a bit of support from my catapults as well. They do a bit of uh, area of its, um, AOE attack and I'm able to push forward here. A lot of the blues uh, army does fall and he's just microwing back now and I'm able to walk through with my catapults as well and really take down a lot of this uh, infrastructure here. So his barracks is falling there and now he's going to be, yeah, this is going to be a bit of trouble for him to come back from because now that I'm in his base, he won't be able to build or rebuild a lot of this infrastructure because um, with the mechanic of this game, you cannot build when you have enemies close by. So his town hall is about to fall as well and yeah, this is basically the end of the game for him. Um, 
it's really good. He had some great attacks on my uh, units as well. Who's able to take down a lot of my uh, you know towers and capture the gold mines. So a bit of a back and forth game. Um, the what really um, made the game in my favor was really capturing the uh, resources on the map and just being able to get some more units out. And also, this was actually his first game. So yeah, it was pretty good still. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much going to be winding down when I'm cooling out the rest of his base. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this commentary of this 1v1 game of a community member. Uh, just a shout out for him because he's been really supporting this channel quite a lot, you know, leaving comments and likes. And yeah, just really... Uh, enjoy this game with him so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this game make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one